So now that you've downloaded Minecraft Education Edition and Classroom Mode, you can connect them together by creating a world that you can have your students play in. When, once you've created that world, you will see down here in this classroom mode that your world will show up here. You can click here to connect and the world will connect to your classroom mode. After that, your students can join into the game and they can all be on the same world and you will have classroom mode open up as well. You can also connect your world to classroom mode by pressing slash to open up the slash commands menu and copying this command here and simply pasting it in the command line. And you'll notice on the upper right hand corner a player roster where you'll see the name of each student corresponding with a different color assigned to them and this color will also match their name in the chat function. The chat window will allow you to communicate and give instruction to your students. The map will show where your students are in relation to you or other structures on the map. They will also show on this top section here their coordinates. If a player starts to wander off or other players need to be connected to the same area, you can right click an area and teleport all students to one area. If you notice that a player is running off on their own or they have gotten lost, then you can simply grab the player from the player roster and drag them to where you'd like to place them. The map can be zoomed out by using the scroll wheel and panned by clicking and dragging. The map will auto update as a student or teacher locates more of the map. On the upper left hand corner, you should be able to see a drop down menu which allows you to change world settings such as fall damage, keeping students from hitting or hurting one another, preventing anyone from drowning in the game, and preventing fire damage. 